iPhone 6S Plus versus iPhone 7 Plus gaming review. That's coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here from Everything Tech, helping to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone 6S Plus versus the iPhone 7 Plus, yes there's a case on that baby, we all know why, gaming review here. Now, before we get started, let's just take a look at the games I do have on both of these devices. I do have a bunch of casual games as well as a couple of higher intensively, you know, graphical games such as the GTA, the Dead Trigger game, as well as Marvel Champions by Com. What is that? Capcom. So let's come out of here. And let's go into settings and confirm that we are doing this gaming test here on iOS 10.2.1. So let's go on to settings here. Let's go into general on both devices, go to software update, and you can see 10.2.1 running here on the iPhone 6S Plus, 10.2.1 running here on the iPhone 7 Plus. So let's bring them back out and let's come back home here. And let's make sure everything is closed out on both of these devices before we start running this test. Now, A9 CPU over there on the iPhone 6S Plus, A10 CPU over there on the 7 Plus as a quad core CPU, but here's what's tricky about this comparison. Both are actually running pretty much the same GPU. The iPhone 7 Plus gets a slight speed boost, so you're gonna see in this test that you know these are pretty much on par with each other in terms of the gaming department. So let's begin with Mario Run. Now I'm not going to play all these games, I'm just going to open them up and see how they load and things like that. So let's go into Mario Run and let's see what happens here. So you can see, looks about the same so far and it looks like the 6S Plus might have slightly took that one just by some milliseconds. Let's go over here and you can see the load times are just about dead even here to begin with Mario Run. So let's come back home here and now let's go into Sonic CD. So let's see what happens here for Sonic, Sega on both appears. And what do we have here? So 7 Plus looks slightly ahead here. Let's see if it does have an extra speed boost. And yes, the 7 Plus slightly loads that quicker, just very, very slightly here. I mean, so slight that I would definitely not tell you to get the 7 Plus over the 6S Plus just for the gaming alone. It's really not that much of a deal. Let's go over here to start game. And we get an annoying ad here for both devices. And let's see if we could skip these guys out. So I got a 29 second ad here on the 7 Plus. So I'm gonna come out of there. But you've seen the load times were about even there on Sonic CD. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride here. Missed that one there on the 7 Plus. Let's do that one more time. Jetpack Joyride on both devices. And you could see that I have to quit these games. I did run them before I started this test. Let's go here and let's just hit touch anywhere. And you can see the load times identical here. Now, if you're noticing on, I don't know if you could see this behind camera, but the what's the difference here in gaming is that with that newer P3 display here for the 7 Plus, you do get a warmer screen, which, you know, that's really up to you. Do you like a cooler screen or a warmer screen? I find the screen to be a little bit more enjoyable to play games here on the 7 Plus, and that's just due to its warmer color. It's just a little easier on the eyes at nighttime when you're playing games and stuff like that. So let's go into Ninja on both devices and see what happens here and you could see let's go to I think I was actually playing this game let's go to tap to start and you can see once again same exact load times pretty much maybe slightly different here on the 7 plus but it's only very very slightly I mean you have to have a really really keen eye for detail and that just goes to show that we're reaching a level where performance on smartphones is at an all-time high and it's not really the performance that we need to increase too much anymore as to where it's more like the features around that smartphone like the software what it can do artificial intelligence things like that let's go into hill climb 2 on both devices and let's see what happens here so let me go here a little bit of a weird load here on both devices but let's go out of here let's X out of here let me just put Nick here as my nickname so let's go to Nick there and let's go to race on both devices and you can see exactly the same load times I mean I literally cannot see any difference here guys tell me if you guys see any difference at all I mean I don't see any difference at all here now you might say this is just because this is these lighter games you're testing, but stay tuned to this video. Stick around for the rest of this. You're gonna see towards the end, when we get into more graphic games, that it's not really that at all. Let's go to Bike Race. 
and we're gonna kind of speed through these so the seven plus does take the win there just slightly single player desert and right here and go here on both and you could see exact same load times once again so this is a similar affair to what we've seen on the iphone se versus the 7 plus gaming let's go to crossy road and you can see looks like once again we're seeing the same load times crossy road on both devices 7 plus maybe slightly ahead there followed by the 6s plus only slightly though let's go into color now who knows maybe the gaming will get you know a little bit worse on the 6s plus over time because apple might slow the device down who knows but as of right now if you went in the store and bought a 6s plus you're getting basically the same performance in gaming as a 7 plus and you're going to save yourself some money as well if you decide to get the 6s plus over the 7 plus so you can see the 7 plus does win this one on subway surfer so i'm going to give it that win but i mean that was so slight does it really even matter honestly let's go up here and let's go through here and let's come home out of there. Now let's go into PVZ, PopCap. Shout out to PopCap. Okay, okay, so 7 Plus is taking the win there. You see 7 Plus ahead there. Okay, that, not bad. So it does take a win there. Um, and here comes the 6S Plus. So not shocking. I was expecting the 7 Plus to win a couple of these tests, but really this is so minor. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen this close of a comparison in terms of a gaming comparison. So you can see right there, 7 Plus ahead once again, and now the 6S Plus. So they did definitely add a very slight speed boost to the A10 Fusion chip, but you know what? It's still pretty much the Power VR GT7600 GPU on both devices. Three gigs of RAM over there for the 7 Plus, so you should have a better experience in terms of multitasking, but I don't think you're gonna have a, too much of a different experience in gaming. Now, neither one of these devices really gets too hot, so great gaming experience on both in terms of the temperature levels. So let's go into Play Online. And you can see, once again, identical speeds. So let's come out of here. And I think we skipped the, no, we didn't skip that. Let's go into GTA now. So here's a more graphically intensive game. Let's see what the 6S Plus does versus the 7 Plus here. So the 6S Plus is ahead, what? Okay, so 6S Plus wins that one. Very, very strange stuff here. Let's go into start game. So one's going to the 6S Plus, the other's going to the 7 Plus, and I think that's just go to show how you know close these really are in the real world. So looks like they're loading the trailer first. No, I didn't begin the storyline yet on GTA San Andreas, so you can see, in terms of just panning around and playing the game, it's very, very similar here on both devices. Same here on the 7 Plus. No lag whatsoever in the frame rates. Very, very smooth on both. Let's come out of there and let's go into the Office Jerk application. Let's go in there and looks like the 6S Plus wins that one. So. You know, when you got the same GPU and you have a, you know, a phone that's been optimized longer by developers, that's why I think the 6S Plus might be winning some of these tests here. Let's go into Tempo Run here and see what happens here about the same. So if we play exactly the same here on the plane. So this might be the first test ever that I might have to give a draw to on the channel. So you can see right there, dead trigger. Actually, I got to turn it that way for this one, dead trigger. So let's hit play on both devices and you can see what happens here. Is it gonna be the 6S Plus? No, about the same there. So here's where I think the P3 display shines a little bit because you have that more rich contrasty display here for you know darker colors like this, warmer temperature. It just looks better here on the 7 Plus whereas it looks amazing here on the 6S Plus as well but not quite as good as what you're gonna get there with that P3 display. So P3 display is a slight improvement. It's not. It's still not enough for me to say if you're trying to get a 6S Plus, it's, that's the only thing in your price range to go get a 7 plus over it just because of the p3 display it really is not that big of a deal so let's go into the next game which is going to be the what is this game right here highway rider you know what i'm gonna skip highway rider let's go into stack this is a light game right here and let's see what happens with the stack application a little annoying ad there but the 6s plus loads it first what is up with that let's go to stick hero on both and you can see same time again i mean the conclusion let's do the marvel champions now i mean we're just going to do it for fun's sake but i'm pretty sure it's going to be once again a draw here for marvel champions so let's see who gets in first so this one failed to log in let's reconnect this one hasn't even logged in yet so looks like the 7 plus might take this one failed as well 
So they both failed to connect, yet the 7 Plus failed to connect first. So I'm saying, I'm, I'm thinking the 7 Plus is ahead here in the overall load times of these two games right here. So we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. And we're not going to keep on waiting here for this game. I'm going to end it right there. But you know what? Overall, this test should have showed you that the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 6S Plus are pretty much in the same exact category when it comes to gaming. Almost no difference at all. So if you're looking to get one of these devices and the first thing that's crossing your mind is gaming, which one is going to be a better gamer? You know, the 7 Plus is going to be a slightly better gamer, but it's not a better gamer so much that this is the deciding factor between the iPhone 6S Plus and the 7 Plus. Really, the deciding factor for me between these two has got to be the cameras. The camera on the 7 Plus is definitely a better camera over the 6S Plus, and the battery life is definitely better battery life. Plus, you get water resistance. Those are deciding factors, but this is just not an area that is a deciding factor for the 6S Plus or the 7 Plus over the 6S Plus. And that is why I made this video to show you that you're getting almost identical performance on both of these devices in a real world test here so if this was helpful to you guys please go ahead and click the like button for me if you enjoy the content click the like button as well and uh, let me know what do you think of the gaming on the 6s plus do you have a 6s plus do you have a 6s do you have whatever an se what do you think of the 7 plus is gaming you think it's phenomenal do you think it's great comment that down below let's get into a chat about that this was nick here up in a master your technology be sure to be well i will catch you all in the next one and peace